Now let us begin this presentation. Today I'm going to talk about a game that you can play with your creative consciousness. You know what I mean, the part of you that creates your reality. You are a reality creator and you conceive within this construct that we call the consciousness, the reality uh, that you want to make and then project it out into the third dimension and then perceive it. Mm. Now, you want to create a particular reality. Uh, however, it's a little more complicated when you realize that the subconscious and the conscious minds both have input here in this creative process. And in these discussions we talk about the subconscious as being automatic uh, without what you might call conscious approval. So it puts elements of your reality in place mm, without even thinking about it, without your approval, you might say, automatically. Mm, the conscious mind, however, has discernment. Mm, and when you're creating consciously, when you're waking up, you gain some control over this creative process. Uh, you begin to co-create uh, with all that is, with spirit, with higher consciousness, uh, your reality. Let me give you this little game that I've developed. I call it, What If? Um, <clears throat> What if the pandemic did not exist? Um, let's assume uh, for a moment that you uh, believe in this pandemic. Mm, and because you create your reality through your beliefs, uh, you make a place for it in your world. You believe it into existence, this pandemic. Uh, and when you do, inevitably, you are creating a negative state of consciousness based on fear, fear of disease, mm, fear of authorities, mm fear of others. So through this belief structure uh, that supports the pandemic, you are creating a potential within your body to receive <laughs> illness because it's inevitable, isn't it? You're going to get that COVID. Hmm. Now, what if there was no pandemic? Mm. Play along with me for a moment and consider with this creative consciousness of yours, your imagination, uh, consider what if there was no pandemic and that was uh, a life Mm, that you enjoyed before 
uh, this pandemic culture uh, was created. What type of messages are you now in this what if uh, consideration uh, are you creating within your body? Hmm. What if it were the opposite of a pandemic? What if it were a healthy, happy, um, creative consciousness that you were exploring mm. in the third dimension? What if you were at the peak of health, for example? What messages are you giving subconsciously and consciously to your body? I would propose that these are the exact opposite suggestions that you would give to your body uh, if you were believing in a pandemic. And so a belief in poor health becomes a belief, a supportive structure of belief uh, that allows excellent health to manifest. You see? What if, instead of experiencing a life of lack, lack of resources, lack of money, let's say, you were to flip, you were to flip it and experience a life of plenty, a life of prosperity, abundance, and so on. How would that affect you and your consciousness uh, and your body, for that matter? Uh, I would suggest that it would lift your spirits uh, as you seed, as in scattering seeds, uh, your reality with positive information, positive images positive feelings that grow into positive reality constructs. Mm, a lack of resources becomes prosperity, abundance. Do you see how that works? It's magic. Uh, the same magic that you use uh, on the advice of the negative leaders to create a pandemic culture, um, you flip to create uh, a healthy, happy existence, uh, a life of abundance and prosperity. Mm, now, some of you perhaps are experiencing a life filled with uh, negative leaders, negative neighbors, let's say, uh, negative people in your life that you meet, mm, people acting out of fear, perhaps. What if you flip this idea of negative neighbors, negative leaders, uh, negative people you meet on the street, so that within your consciousness you begin to create mm, positive associations, uh, perhaps during this transformation of consciousness, uh, you begin to smile. Your mood lifts. You begin to give your body powerful healing suggestions that all is well. Mm -hmm. That you are appreciated in your neighborhood, in your world. 
that you are perhaps anticipating, uh, positive, visionary leaders um, to come forth and lead you. Positive, uh, happy neighbors that you will meet on your walks. Happy people. You see? As you do this, um, as you participate in this game, what if you begin to change your personal reality field uh, for the better? <clears throat> I think that will be all for now. I'm going to ask you to experiment with this idea of what if. And notice how your consciousness changes uh, according to the information, uh, the positive information uh, you give it. Thank you.